Mary Louise Day was born February 19, 1968 to Charlotte and Charles Day. She was the oldest of three sisters. Her younger sisters' names are Kathy and Sherry. The three girls were in and out of foster care for much of their childhood. Due to their parents not being able to take care of them. At some point while they were in foster care. Their mother divorced their father and remarried a man named William Hull. William enlisted in the army and Charlotte regained custody of Mary and Kathy in 1976. Sherry remained in foster care and was eventually adopted by her foster family. William. Charlotte Mary. And Kathy moved to Hawaii for William's army career. At some point while they were living in Hawaii. Charlotte and William had two more children. Billy Jean and William Jr. Mary and Kathy's biological father was killed in an accident and their father left him an inheritance. The girls must have had a plan to run away because Wikipedia says whenever they talked about their escape plan, they would refer to it as Mohawk, as a code word between the two of them. In December of 1980, Mary was removed from her home and placed into protective custody because William was physically abusive towards her. After Mary was placed into protective custody, her family moved to Seaside. C.A. After a few months, Mary was taken out of protective custody and moved to C.A. to live with her family again. While living in Seaside, Mary ran away a number of times but was always sent back. In July 1981, Mary disappeared from her family's home for good. She was not reported missing and almost no one knew she was missing besides her family. And she was not enrolled in school at the time. In 1994, Mary's sister Sherry reported her missing. Mary's info was then sent to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and an Age. Progression photo was released of her in 1999, which showed what she might look like at 31 years of age. Sherry began speaking to police about Mary's unstable and unfortunate childhood and home life and an official investigation regarding Mary's disappearance was opened in 2002. Although the police were unable to find any information on Mary after 1981. According to Mary's sister, Kathy, Mary went missing on evening in 1981 after the family went out to dinner, leaving Mary and Kathy at home. When the family got home from dinner, William noticed his dog acting sick and started accusing Mary of poisoning him and he started to beat her. The beating was bad and Kathy stated that after the fight, Mary had blood coming out of her mouth and she never saw her sister again after that night. The morning after the fight, Kathy asked her mother where Mary was and her mother told her Mary ran away and to never speak of her again. At some point after Mary went missing, the family moved to New York. Sherry visited when they were in New York and asked her biological mother, Charlotte, where Mary was and she told her Mary was a runaway. When Sherry asked Kathy where Mary was, she told her they were not supposed to talk about her. Sherry recalled to police that her mother would discuss hiding bodies in California and knowing about places where no one would be able to find them. That's when she started believing Mary had been murdered. Investigators also started to believe this. Eventually, police tracked down William and Charlotte, who were living in Kansas, and interviewed him about Mary's disappearance. Charlotte was quoted saying, if she's dead, she's dead. When investigators asked William about Mary, he told them he was looking for Mary in every bedroom and when he couldn't find her. He and Charlotte panicked and called the police. Which obviously was not true. Eventually, William confessed to beating Mary the night she disappeared and told the police about how angry he 
was when he saw his dog sick. Even going as far as telling them that he used a martial arts move to quieten her and that he may have hit her throat. The morning after the beating, Charlotte told William she saw Satan in his eyes that night and asked if he could have killed Mary. William said no, but when asked if the demon inside him could have killed her, he responded yes. Shortly after Mary went missing, Kathy recalled when William would tell the children not to go to a certain area in the backyard. In 2003, investigators brought her back to the home and she showed him the spot in the yard. They sent out cadaver dogs and the dogs picked up scents of human remains. A child's shoe was also found in the area, with Kathy confirming it was a shoe that they would have worn in their childhood. At this point, police were confident they had a case against William and Charlotte, that is until a random traffic stop in Arizona occurred. On November 25, 2003, the traffic stop in Arizona supposedly cracked this mystery. The stop shed light on a pickup truck with stolen plates and ran the licenses of the passengers. One passenger in this pickup was a woman named Mary Day. She showed an AZ license that showed the name, birthday, and total statistics of missing Mary Louise Day. When the woman was interviewed, she was referred to as Phoenix Mary. The woman claimed she ran away from home because the abuse she suffered from Charlotte and William. Investigators were skeptical. Phoenix Mary had a thick southern accent, which was odd because Mary never lived in the South, nor did she have an accent when she disappeared. They also found out her ID had been issued three weeks prior to her arrest in November. Investigators initially thought she was lying and wanted to prove it. So they had a DNA test done. The DNA testing results proved that Phoenix Mary was a biological child of Charlotte Hull. The investigation was closed and Kathy and Sherry invited her to come live with them in North Carolina. The sisters still had their doubts about her identity due to her southern accent. Her having no recollection of their childhood or their code word, Mohawk, and also she was having magazines shipped to her addressed as Monica Devereaux. She died in 2017 and no funeral was held. Several photos here. Photos and a photo of Phoenix Mary here.